Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Let me just turn my heater on. I just realized how noisy that is in the background. So, um, today I really fancy, I was just sat watching TV and then my partner put the football on. I was like, you know what, now is the perfect time for me to do a video because um, I am not into football even a little bit. So this is the perfect opportunity for me to just sit in the nail room and just play basically and this is what i love doing in videos and this is why i haven't been doing videos for a while now is basically just because i obviously don't i didn't work where i was living so it was tricky um because it meant that i'd have to stay over late at work and obviously i'd have to go back and have my dinner and then go back to work and it was just wasn't really worth the hassle so here i am finally working where i live I'm going to be in this room a lot more now. What I'm thinking today is I really fancy doing something that includes foil and blossom gel, uh, like blooming gel, whatever you want to call it, wherever you get it from will depend on what you call it. But mine is called blossom gel because it is from Blue Sky. This is the one that I use. I definitely need to upgrade to a new bottle from either the same brand or somewhere else because this one is very very nearly empty so i'm not going to get much out of it now but this is the foil i'm going to use just because it is absolutely beautiful and it was basically the first one that picked up so why not um i just need to figure out what i'm going to do so that would be would be good if i could do that so i think i'm going to go with because we're using like an orangey um foil i'm going to go with an orangey base but i want a really pale maybe even like a peach let me get my swatches i usually do all this off camera like figure out what i'm going to do and stuff but i just thought you might want to see my brainstorming process if you don't obviously keep skipping to when i start actually doing what i'm going to do um but i'm just going to hold up my colors let's get this to stand up a little bit so i can see the colors in it when it's reflecting the light I'm going to see which colour goes well as a base for it. Definitely don't want orange. Not orange, yellow, sorry. Um, I quite like that, actually. That's pretty. So I'm going to keep that in mind. I think that's going to be the one, actually, because none of the others are really standing out to me, and that one did straight away, which is usually a good sign. And it's lighter than the, the what's it? foil which is what i wanted so we're going to go with villa saint tropez and it is from the gel box uk so i'm going to find that color in my bottom drawer i'm still getting used to where everything is at the moment uh there you go first one I picked up that's brilliant so i'm going to do three nails um i haven't really figured out what i'm going to do yet to be honest i think we'll do one nail with foil and blooming gel on one nail mm, no i think okay i do i think i do know what i want to do now so let's just get straight into it let's get my lamp over here so i can paint my nails and pop them in there have we even got nails yes i have i've got them ready so i'm going to paint all three colors with this um gel box color that we've picked um, I'm going to do two coats on all three nails. In fact, no, I'm going to do one coat on one nail and then two coats on the other two because on the one that I'm doing the one coat on, I'm not actually going to see the colour, so we don't need it. I'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full 60 second cure, making sure that I'm painting these ones away from the lamp, of course, because I don't want to cure my brush. Um, I'm just gonna do this off camera, I think, just to save a bit of time. And I'm doing the same thing over and over, and it's gonna get very boring very quickly. So bear with me. For the nail that I've only done one coat on, I'm now going to go in with a coat of Sparkle Supplies UK Foil Transfer Gel. I'm just going to turn my lamp around just a smidge because it was very slightly pointing at me. 
Um, with this one, I'm going to coat the entire nail with my foil gel. I'm just going to make sure that the layer is nice and even. We don't want it to be really thick because the areas where it's really thick, um, it's unlikely to cure all the way through, just like any other gel wouldn't. Um, and then your foil isn't going to stick because it's going to be a slippery surface instead of sticky. We need it to be tacky, not slippy. And then same thing goes with how thin it is. You don't want it to be too thin because if it cures too much, then still your, your foil isn't going to stick to it because it's not going to be sticky at all. It'll just cure like completely. So you don't have anything to stick to something basically, if that makes any sense. So I'm just waiting for the other two to cure until I, while I, um, so I'm not going to put that foil one straight in. I want to be able to keep an eye on how long I'm curing that for. So I'm going to take the other two out, pop that one in. So I'm curing that for 30 seconds and then I will put my foil on and then cure it for a, a further 30 seconds. I'm just going to paint the second coat on these two and then I'll come back to the next step. Now the reason I didn't cure, um, the reason I didn't do two coats on this nail is because I'm actually going to cover this entire nail with foil i'm not going to cover it in terms of like actually doing it like full coverage as in put it on and wipe it all over it. i am just going to put it on really randomly but we're still covering the entire nail we're just going for still the patchy effect even though it's going to be entirely covered it doesn't matter if there is still little areas poking through because the base colour is part of our design on the other two anyway, so it's not an issue. It just looks a bit more textured when you do it this way, instead of really neatly applying it, as you can see. It looks so cool. I absolutely love foils like this. Anything holographic is always going to be a winner, but look at that. It's beautiful. So, like I said, I'm going to pop that back in for another 30 seconds because it needs 60 seconds to fully cure. And I only cured it for 30 before I took it out of the lamp. So I'm finishing off that cure. And then on this nail, I'm going to do the same thing with my uh, foil gel. I'm popping it all over the nail, but I'm not really making sure that this is a perfect application because I don't actually want my foil to stick to all of this nail. It's going to be the patchy effect on this one, I've decided. So we're just going ahead and popping that on pretty sporadically. Again, I'm not putting it in the lamp yet until it's finished here in the last step on the other nail. This one I am going to remove the tacky layer from because I want to put the foil gel just in a certain place. So I don't want too much of the foil to be sticking elsewhere where I don't want it. While I'm messing about with this one, I'm going to put that other one in for 30. So on this one, I'm just going to do sort of like a, a squiggle of foil gel down the centre, but not too neat. I do want it to be pretty random still. I don't want it to be like a perfect line, basically. So I've just done that. I'm going to put that in again for 30 seconds. I'm just going to wait for the other one to come out because it's only got a few seconds left. I don't want to overcure this one. You might have to mess around with the timings of the foil gel. Um, they seem to work differently in different lamps. So it just depends on how yours is going to work. So if you put it in for a minute and it doesn't stick, it's cured too much to so just put it in for a little bit less time. If you put it in and it comes out and it's slippery, like I said, it's just applied too thickly. So try to put it on a little bit thinner. There's lots of troubleshooting to do with foil. It can be quite tricky, but once you've mastered it, it's generally one of the best things ever to be able to do because it is so easy once you've got the knack. Super, super simple. So I'm just patting this on. I don't want to go overboard and put too much on and make it look like the first nail. So that's how I'm going to leave that one, just random. Again, I'm going to pop that in for another 30 seconds to finish off that cure. And then we're going to focus this down that, that area that I've popped my foil gel, like so, rough up the corners a bit. And then that is what that one looks like. I'm going to pop that one into the lamp as well for the rest of that cure. And then what I'm going to do 
and put things away because I'm really good at not doing that and then leaving them out and it drives me mad when it's all over the place. So the next thing I'm going to do is get my colour that I'm going to be using, my Blossom Gel, which is going to be white. So I'm going to get that out ready. And I also need a dotting tool because I'm using my Blossom Gel in the, in my opinion, the easiest possible way you can use Blossom Gel. The first nail that we did, this one, that is finished now. I'm not actually going to do anything else with this, I don't think. No, I'm leaving that as it is because I don't want it to be overkill. So I'm just going to very quickly top coat this one and throw it into the lamp. I am using just a random top coat, by the way. It's not brand specific or anything, just because I'm on display tips. So I've got quite a few top coats and base coats and stuff lying around that I wouldn't use on clients. Um, but I have them lying around because I know that I'm going to use them. For videos so those are the two are now finished curing so here's what they look like at the moment so this is what we're working with i'm actually going to put the blossom gel straight over the top of the foil and the foil gel i don't know how that's going to pan out because i've never done it before but this is how we learn isn't it it's all part of the fun so i'm going to get my palette and i'll pop a bit of my white on it I am using the plastics from Jabbox UK. They do have two whites, which, don't get me wrong, at first really threw me. When I got the second box with white in, I was a bit confused because I was like, I already have a white. And I wouldn't have been confused if they had the same name, but they don't. But I can promise you it is worth having both because they are entirely different whites, which I didn't even think was possible. Probably just me that feels like that. But honestly, it really baffled me that they were so different. Um, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> so... I'm just adding a little bit more foil to this one. There we go. Right. So now we're going to go in with the Blossom Gel. So it's very important that once you've applied this, you don't cure it. Because if you pop this in the lamp, it's not going to work the same. You need it to be wet on the nail for it to do its blossoming magic, basically. So it's very tempting to paint a nail and pop it straight in the lamp. I'm well aware of that. It's very difficult to avoid that temptation. But you do need to in this process so i'm painting it completely all over both of these nails obviously i did say that i am i've just sneezed off camera now it's making my nose runny how annoying um i did say that i'm not going to be putting like the blossom effect design over the top of this entire nail but you'll see why i want it all over the nail in just a second and then this one, the same. I'm going to pop it all over. If anyone recommends any Blossom gels, by the way, because I've never, Blossom or Blooming, whatever the brand that you use calls them, I've never actually used a different brand of it because this bottle has lasted me forever. I actually don't really do many Blossom type nails on clients, to be honest. This bottle has mainly just lasted me how long it has because I only do it in videos. Although my videos on YouTube, like my most popular videos, are my Blossom gel ones, so... It's a bit confusing that they're not more popular on clients or maybe they are and it's just my clients that are not keen i don't know so we're going back to this one i'm going to pop my i'm just going in with dots and making it really easy for myself I'm not going to overcomplicate it um just dots so i'm going to get my dotting tool i'm going to put quite a lot of product on my dotting tool because if you don't have enough you'll have like a little spot in the middle of your polish that doesn't actually have any gel on it and it'll look really strange now I'm going back into my white every time to pick up a new dot. Just going to put a little one there and a little one there. Eventually, you'll want to completely wipe off your dotting tool because it will get a little bit of a build-up of blossom gel on it. And then your colour payoff won't be quite as strong. So you'll want to re-sort that out. I'm going to regret putting them on there, so I'm not going to do it. But you can see the ones above, that one's not gone very well up there, are starting to blossom now. They're all starting to spread out. The more white you put on your dotting tool, the bigger a blob you're going to get, basically. like The bigger it will spread out because the more product there is to spread. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I'm going to give it another couple of seconds to spread just for the bottom ones to get on board. 
love how that looks and then we're going to pop that straight into the lamp as soon as it's blossomed to how i'd like it to look now this one i'm not actually going to entirely cover this in dots i'm just going to do them really randomly because i want to be able to see more of the orange underneath but i just want it to be able to match the other nail super super random but that's the joy of blossom is you never really know what it's going to look like until it actually starts to take place i'm just going to pop a few really tiny dots now between the larger ones so i'm going to get it in the lamp before those tiny dots have a chance to fill the spaces entirely this is why i like doing blossom gel on my channel because i don't use it in real life <laughs> put a little dot there even though there isn't any blossom gel so it's not really going to spread but it's fine so that's what that looks like very different i like it i'm going to pop that in the lamp and then all that's left to do is to just top coat you could add a bit more detail at this point if you wanted to um you could have just left them with the foil gel if you don't have any blossom gel or anything um some brands of base coat could be quite good it's used as blossom gels some not as much because they're not as slippery um you need them to be quite thin for your gels to expand in them um but yeah it's definitely worth having to play around just to find out if you can get away with using a base coat because then you don't obviously have to have two products which is handy um but once these have come out of the lamp and i've top coated them i will show you what they look like so this is how they turned out i am so so happy with them um that foil that middle nail is absolutely beautiful i'm so tempted to have that on all 10 of my nails <laughs> next time i do them i won't because i say this every single time i do a design on my channel i always say like yeah i'm gonna have that and then i never ever do but i could definitely do that i absolutely love it i've done it with pink a pink foil before and it was it looked phenomenal and i got lots and lots of compliments on it but i just file my nails too often like by accident especially this one here you can see but yeah, let me know what you think of this design i absolutely love how it turned out it's very different i definitely prefer this one but it's nice to have a little experiment and see how it goes i love how it just forms its own its own shapes it looks really really cool i definitely should have spaced these out a little bit more so we could see that foil underneath but every time we have a little play in here is it's a learning curve so i know for next time but still happy um, so yeah, let me know what you think. You could do it with so many different colour schemes as well, which would be good. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye!